back now. It's time for our healthy living segment. Yes, registered dietitian Beth Peralta is joining us this morning to make an easy, crunchy snack that you can make at home. And it does sound pretty easy. Hey, Beth, how you doing? Yeah, hi. Good, great. Thanks for having me today. It is super easy. It takes only a couple minutes to put together, and then you put it in the oven and just wait for it to be ready for you. So we're talking about chickpeas. Yes, roast chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We noticed the label we have says both, but you <laughs> might see them labeled in one or two ways at the store. Um, a can of them can make about a cup of roasted chickpeas. Um, chickpeas are really um, versatile. You can use them in a lot of different ways. Um, we talked about using them in salads. Um, you can use them in a lot of soups, or they're used to make hummus, which I know people really love to snack on. Um, but roasting them seems more wintry and more cold weather. Um, way to eat them. It does. Yeah. Okay, so, so what how do you do? make them? So you'd start by draining the can and kind of rinsing the beans off. And then we've got the can here on a plate, which you then just kind of pat dry. So that way it keeps them from, um, you know, being too wet. So that way they can uh, have the spices stick to them. And so then you're going to take them and put them in this bowl. So that way you can mix. And if you make a mess, they do roll away really <laughs> easily. So, you know, it's just part of cooking. It's not cooking if you're not making a little bit of a mess. <laughs> Sorry right. about that. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. get those later. Um, and then you're going to take spices. So you can use whatever spices you prefer. Um, someone just said that they like to use honey to roast them, which I think oh. would be an excellent mm -hmm. way to enjoy something a little sweeter. But here I've got um, about a quarter a teaspoon of salt eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Okay. I've already sure. got a tablespoon of oil in here, so I'm just going to sprinkle those in. But really, you could mix up that mixture however you want to. Exactly. Just make it your own. You can experiment if you've got some different spices in the cabinet that you haven't used in a while and you want to see what they would taste like. Um, this could be a great way to, to try them. Um, chickpeas are also a really good source of protein and fiber, so it can help you feel a little bit fuller. Um, we will say they are pretty nutrient dense, meaning that there's a lot of nutrition packed in a very small amount. Um, and then if you notice, yeah, when you cook them, they get a lot smaller. So this full can, which is about a cup and a quarter cup, cooks down point. to a pretty small quantity, mm -hmm. um, just under a cup there. And each quarter cup of the roasted chickpeas will be about 120 calories. Uh, four grams of protein and five grams of fiber. Very good. Yeah. So it's as simple as just putting exactly. them on a pan. Do you just have that sprayed with something? Mm -hmm. It's a nonstick cooking spray on here. You spread them out on the pan. This is a great step too to have kids help out with. Um, and then you put the oven at 400 degrees and bake them for about 40 minutes. And of yeah. course, this is uh, way better to snack on than a bag of chips. Exactly. <laughs> And you could do this with, you know, like regular peas too, right? You could. You could use other kinds of beans or peas that you might have in the pantry at home. Um, they also work great on salads, so you could use them to top salads in place of like croutons or tortilla yeah. strips. Bacon. Yeah, bacon, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, well, I tried, I tried one earlier because yeah. obviously, but you yeah. want to try some? Yep, yeah, very good. That's good. And I like that you can throw anything well, on it. Surprisingly crunchy it. too. Yeah, make them different. Mm -hmm. You could roast them a little bit longer. You just have to be careful to not let them burn. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> just keep, keep yeah. an eye on them in there. Just you know, peek every few minutes. You can also every couple of minutes kind of spread them out a little bit just to help make sure that the heat gets evenly distributed. So not one of the surfaces is getting extra heat and the others are you know getting a little less cooked. But still super easy to do though. Exactly. Totally. All right. Awesome, Beth. Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.